ano nga ba nagre-reproduce ang mga halaman? So, ano nga ba yung proseso ng kanilang perpetuation? Alamin po natin dito po sa video nito. today ang plant reproduction tara samahan niyo ako sa video hello good day pag-usapan po natin ngayon ay plant reproduction in continuation with our discussion about perpetuation of life. Med medyo last time kasi nag-focus po tayo sa animal reproduction and I would like also to present to you how plant reproduce. Okay? Is a seed alive? Or is a fruit alive? What do you think? Yung seeds ba? Yung mga buto ba? O yung mga bunga? Masasabi po ba natin na yung mga yan ay may buhay? You can comment down on the comment section your answer. Okay? Buhay nga ba ang mga buto? Buhay nga ba yung mga prutas? Come on, comment down your answer on the comment section. So, sa plant reproduction, meron din po tayong tinatawag, katulad po ng animal reproduction, May tinatawag din po tayong asexual reproduction. Pag sinabi pong asexual reproduction in plants, ito po ay reproduction or natural reproduction or it's either a cloning in which some parts of the plant, either leaves or stem, produce roots and become an independent plant. So that's asexual reproduction in plants. List some benefits and some drawbacks to a sexual reproduction. Sexual, uh, however, sexual reproduction in plants requires fusion of male cells in the pollen grain with female cells in the ovule. Ito po yung tinatawag po nating pollination. Okay? So, this is how sexual reproduction happens in plants. Ito yung mga terms sa dapat po nating malaman. Later, ikukompare po natin ang mga yung difference ng animal reproduction from plant reproduction. Haploid, meaning having a single set of chromosomes in each cell. Diploid, having two sets of chromosomes in each cell. Mitosis, uh, cell division which produces two genetically identical cells. Meiosis, reduction division which produces four haploid reproductive cells. So, paano nga ba yung plant life cycle? <clears throat> so, siguro initially, meron na po tayong idea. Halimbawa, nagtanim ka ng buto ng sitaw. After a few days, it will grow. After several weeks, it will grow up. And then, sad, uh, afterwards, will bear flowers, bear fruit. And that fruit ay may hinog. At pag hinog, magkakaroon ng buto. At ang buto, pwede na ulit. So, that's basically, probably, yung prior knowledge natin about plant, si uh, plant life cycle. Let's compare yung plant reproduction and animal reproduction. Uh, as what I've said, supposedly kasama po yung plant reproduction kahapon sa ating discussion about uh, perpetuation of life. Nahapyawan ko lang ng konti. Medyo nag-focus po tayo sa animal reproduction. Pero let's compare yung life cycle ng plant from animal reproduction. Uh, sa plant, 
alternation of generations. Alternation. However, in animals, no alternation of generation. Yung gametes naman, or gametes, haploid gametes, haploid gametes din sa animal, spores, haploid spores, however, yung animals, no spores, gamit made by, ang gamit ng plant ay haploid uh, gametophyte by mitosis. However, ang gametes naman ng animal ay diploid organisms made by meiosis. Yung spores made ng plant and animal. Yung plant, diploid sporophyte by meiosis. However, ang, plant, ang animal walas, wala namang uh, spores. Okay? So, alternation of generations. Ang plant is alternation of generations. Ibig sabihin, plants have a double life cycle with two distinct forms. It's either sporophyte, diploid, in which produce haploid spores by meiosis. Sa gametophyte naman, haploid produce gametes by mitosis. Kaya alternation of generations. Of course, hindi po lahat ng plants ay flowering plants. May mga plants po na non-flowering plants such as mosses, ferns, which are related plants have motile and swimming sperm. What kind of environmental conditions would be required for reproduction in these types of plants? So, ito mga mosses, ferns, anong, anong uh, environmental condition yung pwedeng mag-require sa kanya para mag-reproduce? And what kind of limit does external reproduction impose on these plants? Alamin po natin as we go along with our discussion. Ito po yung life cycle ng moss. Gumot. General life cycle of moss. You have there the cycle. Yang sporophyte. Uh, sporophyte hanggang sa uh, naging meiosis. You will notice sa roots. Sa roots. Yung kanyang reproduction process. Sa roots nang gagaling. You will notice here. Nagbad nagbad yung root at nagkaroon ng in, yung root as is the main ito po and so on and so forth so this is how boss life cycle is however yung fern uh Take note, ito po ay mga non-flowering plants. Ito naman po yung fern life cycle. So, just look at the arrow how it goes here. So, you will notice nasa dahon naman yung kanyang ano. Nasa dahon naman yung kanyang reproduction process nangyayari. Conifers, a non-flowering plant as well, have reduced gametophytes. Male ga gametophytes is contained in a dry pollen grain. However, female gametophytes is a few cell inside the structure that becomes seed. Ito po yung conifer. Okay. Hindi ko na masyadong elaborate. Kasi ang purpose lang naman po natin is kung paano nga ba nagre-reproduce. Conifers are wind-pollinated plants. Chances allow some pollen to land on the scales of female cones. Pollen, ger uh, pollen germinates grow a pollen tube into the egg to allow sperm to fertilize the egg. And what are some advantages and disadvantages of wind pollination? Pollen go between show flowers are the result of selection for more efficient pollination strategies. Flowers, flower parts are modified leaves. These that were brightly colored attract the insect 
in search of pollen. So, kaya yung mga insects lumalapit sa flowers kasi dahil sa colors nito. Yun yung nakakapagpa-attract sa mga insects. And from there, the insects helps para magkaroon ng pollination. Helps the flower para magkaroon ng pollination. So, the example of flower. Flower parts. Elementary pa lang. Pinag-aralan nyo na. Imperfect flower. Ang juice form life cycle. Uh, gametogenesis male. Gamet gametogenesis female. Double fertilization. Flower to fruit. Ayan. Flower to fruit. In pepper. So, ito po yung flower ng pepper. Pepper flower hanggang sa naging fruit. Tapos, ayan. Yung pepper. Naging pepper. Naging seed. Naging ovule. Etc. Ovule to seed, seed to anatomy, or the embryo of seed, or seed anatomy rather, or the embryo of seed. Ayan po. Seed germination. So you have there the germinating seed of plant. That's all. So, kung paano nga ba nagre-reproduce ang plants, it also reproduce sexually and unsexually. Pag sexually, ibig sabihin po noon, reproduction through seeds. Asexually, reproductions either of stem, leaves, roots, etc. So, that's how plant reproduce. Yun naman po yung pinaka ano po natin main concern. How plant reproduce or how plant reproduction happens. That's all for now. Thank you for listening, view or watching this video. Happy learning everyone. Yan, sana po nakatulong sa inyo. Ang isa na namang pinakamahalagang aralin sa, earth and, sa history of earth and life science, the perpetuation of life. Actually, extension lang ito ng ating video lesson about perpetuation of life yesterday. Medyo nag-focus kasi ako dun sa perpetuation of animals. Hindi ko masyadong na-touch up yung perpetuation of plant. Kaya, hopefully, itong ginawa po natin short discussion about the perpetuation of plant ay nakatulong po sa inyo. Happy learning everyone. Maraming pong salamat.